Hello everybody and welcome to another video of the coding on VeChain Thought series. My name is Michael and most of you will know me by my name Mirai83 on various platforms. In this video I'm going to show you the requirements and how to install a VeChain Thor node on Windows. So let's get right into it. As I also talked about the requirements for the Linux node, the uh, Windows node has basically the same requirements. If you're planning on running a VeChain Thor node on Windows binaries, you also have to do have to have fast SSD storage or NVMe storage because it's very I/O intensive and the uh, and normal HDD storage will not do it. You also have to have 100 gigabytes of storage available for the synchronization of the blockchain data. And if you're planning to run a VeChain Thor node uh, for a longer time, the VeChain Thor directory should at least have 500 gigabytes of free storage so you can uh, keep running the Thor node for the near future. For uh, the RAM, the VeChain Thor node will require about four gigabytes of RAM to run smoothly. If you're planning on permanently running the node, you should have about eight gigabyte on the system if you don't have anything else on the system. And for a high uh, load, full node, you should uh, reserve about 16 gigabytes of RAM. As for the CPU, you can run it on any modern CPU architecture. You should have four cores on your system, and the more cores you have, the faster the initial sync will be. After the initial sync, uh, the cores is not that important for the VeChain node itself. So after this, we're going straight to the live coding part of the session. For this, I'm going to switch to a virtual machine running Windows 10 1909. Um, there's basically nothing done on this system except for installing it. And I also, don't, uh, I also downloaded uh, some piece of software because it can take a little. And there's nothing installed, not even updates. Um, so we're going to get right through it. The first thing you have to do is you have to download MSYS2. You can do this if you simply go um, on a browser and go to uh, Google or Bing or whatever and yes, and search for MSYS2. And there you can go on msys2.org and you can download then the newest version of the software. As I said, I already did this because uh, sometimes it's incredibly slow and it will take about 10 minutes um, and that's the only thing I've done. So then you end up with this file. And from there, we can just install it. And we're going to take all the defaults. I'm going to set the directory directly on C. And then we just keep pressing the install buttons. And after a short time, the system will be installed. When this is done, um, there are probably not all the icons in the search bar, but we're going to see how that ends up. And maybe I'm going to fasten up these waiting parts for the VeChain Thor node on Windows. So now the installation is done and the installer automatically um, gives me a choice to start the MSYS2 64-bit uh, console. That's exactly what we need. So we're going to start this, um, let this check, and say done. Now we have a console. I'm going to zoom in a little. And um, what MSYS2 does, it basically provides an, a development environment with different um, capabilities to compile software and compile software to run natively on Windows. So you don't have anything, you don't have to have a VM or something. And that's exactly what we want to do. Now, after we started um, the console, we need to update the console and all the packages required for uh, the VeChain 4 node. For, that, for this, I'm going to do pacman minus syu. And this also can take a while. And if it's taking too long, I'm just going to, yes, I'm just going to speed up the process a little. So 
So the first run is done, and uh, there were two errors when I downloaded, uh, when the system downloaded the software. So I'm trying the update again to see if there's anything left to download, but it's saying seems to be fine now. Yeah, okay, great, everything's fine. And now we're going to install the packages needed for the VGN4 node. Um, now we're going to do pacman as we need git make and go. Let's check if everything's right. This does not seem right. There you go, and the other one seems to be fine. So we're going to update these packages too. Yeah, we want to install them. And as you can see, um, there are pretty, uh, there are a lot of um, depending packages. So I'm just going to let this update, and again speed up the downloading process for you. So you don't have to wait and watch progress bars to complete. Okay, now we're done. And as you can see, um, GCC and Go were installed successfully. That's the part we're going to need uh, to, need to run the VGN4 node. And after this is gone, uh, after this is done, it's very important to close the shell and to restart it. Okay, we're going to close this one too. And if you're going to use start, this is German, but it doesn't matter. Um, you can see it's not in here yet. I had this problem also. Oh, no, no, there's there. Okay. And we have to start the MSYS2. It's now called MSYS2. It's not. Um, there you can see we have the 32-bit uh, and this is the 64-bit and we need this one to restart again. Okay, now we have the console back online. I'm going to zoom in a little. And after this is gone, uh, done, we're going to clone the GitHub repository and make the VChain software. For this, I'm going to git clone uh, HTTPS github.com slash vchain slash for.git and it's now cloning the Thor repository on the local hard drive and after this we're going inside a Thor directory and make all that's also all we need uh, to do to compile the software and now oh, that went well I probably have started the wrong environment, and we're going to start it from scratch. Um, see there and there, and start this one. Now that, that I had this error before, uh, sometimes the console is just not right, and we're trying again to install it. The Thor directory should be there. Yeah, it's there. And now we try to make all. Now oh, that's better. Okay, um, if you watched the previous video on how to compile it on Linux, um, it's now pretty much the same. Um, Go will compile everything, will download everything, and at the end of the process, there will be binaries that we can run. Um, it will take a, time, a little time, but not that much. And after this is done, we're going to uh, to the Windows directory where the binary fields files will be located. This will just take a second. And the files, they are hidden, but uh, if you want, you know where you have to go. It's pretty much easy, and we also have to rename them because um, the environment will not 
add the .exe behind the files so they're uh, um, extensionless and Windows does not handle um, files without extensions that well. And I've tested um, the Windows version of the VChain Thor and uh, it's pretty stable, it runs very good. I have this on my development computer because it is a Windows machine and so I don't have to run a separate uh, VMware uh, VM to to run the VChain Thor on Linux. Um, I haven't run this version in uh, as a service or as for, for a long time, but it seems to be pretty stable. I've thrown a lot of connections to it, and it should run just as fine as the Linux version does. Okay, we're done. Now we're going to open a browser, uh, Explorer, and going to see then in the msys64 directory there should be a home and there's user and there's four and there should be bin okay now there are our two binaries um, we will ignore disco because we don't need this and this is the binary for four we're going to re rename it dot and now we have our binary um, we're going to call it from the command shell, um, and uh, to make it easier, I'm just going to create a folder named vchain directly at C and copy it to there. Now I'm going to close the environment and start up a simple command. Going to zoom in a little. Yeah. Okay, fine. Um, from there, I'm going to get into the vchain directory and there is our Thor uh, file and if we start it there you can see we have basically the exact same output as uh, when we do it on Linux and for a detailed description of all the switches here available um, please watch the other video I um, will not explain it in this one we're just going to use it as uh, the values are necessary and to start the vchain Thor um, node on Windows. We're just going to add um, as uh, network its main. The API address is going to be 0 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
uh, if you want to know more about this, please watch the other video. Yeah, this node is done. So we're going to switch back. Oh, that's inside EVM. We're going to switch back to this. And all I have to say is thank you very much for watching. If you want to ping me, you can ping me on Twitter. My name is Mirai83 underscore. Uh, you can check out my GitHub repository or you can uh, join us in the VeChain Dev community if you have any questions regarding development on VeChain Thor. All the awesome developers are in this channel and we will point you in the right direction. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.